up y'all it's your girl leah simone and i'm back with another video if you're new here thank you so much for popping in on me i hope you go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're returning thank you so much for coming back and today i have another bottle girl video seem like y'all like these bottle girl videos so i'm gonna make sure i keep some of them coming today i'm gonna be answering a lot of questions that you guys have you guys comment under my posts asking questions all the time so i'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions i'm gonna have my co-workers answer some questions so you guys will be able to meet some of the camp girls and just kind of see what the vibe is about at camp houston so make sure you go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel and let's get into the video so today is, we are celebrating Nigerian Independence Day. Sorry if I keep looking like in different places, y'all, but we're having a day party. It was raining literally all day. So we're hoping now the rain has stopped and we can just enjoy our day, make some money. You already know how it go, okay? How long have you been a bottle girl? So I've been a bottle girl for two years. And is Camp Houston the only place you've worked at? Um, no, I've also worked at Cake. Is that a club? Yes, Cake and Dear Daisy. What is the interview process to get hired at Camp Houston? Um, so you can get hired a couple of different ways. First, follow our Instagram page, it's at Camp Houston. We'll post if we have casting calls, what day, what time. Uh, come camera ready. If we don't have casting calls, you can come to our location. Uh, come camera ready and fill out an application. And yeah, that's the luck. Do you need experience to be a bottle girl or to work at Camp Houston? No, but it would definitely help a lot, but technically you can learn how to do anything. So. What is your actual job title or what do you consider yourself? Well, my job title is waitress, but we're fucking bottle girls. <laughs> Yay! What are the grooming standards to work at Camp Houston? Um, you just have to come in with your hair done, makeup done, lashes on. Um, How do we have to wear our hair? You have to wear your hair down. What are the hours that we typically work here at Camp Houston? Um, I work like 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. What are the outfits and the hair requirements at Camp Houston? Um, so we have our this Nigerian Independence Day like special outfit, I guess, but we have like different outfits throughout the week depending on like the day, what we're celebrating, um, if it's a holiday, hair has to be down, obviously. I usually like gel it back and then makeup. How are we paid here at Camp Houston? So the waitresses are paid by tips, but the autocrat, we split gratuity, so that doesn't go strictly to us, just the tips on top of it. And actually, they take a percentage out of that too, so. We like to get paid in cash, cash app, sale, PayPal, anything like that. So basically, we just have some finesse. What is the day in the life of a bottle girl? Okay, sometimes you come in, you're gonna get a good section, sometimes you're not. So, finesse to the T, wherever you are, and make your money. So, sometimes you might not get set till midnight, so you're gonna be sitting down making zero dollars. And then you can come out with 1500, you can come out with 200, depending on your night. What is it like being in the industry? a tough job to have um going from working from one place to another you have to make sure the owners aren't in competition you may lose a few like regular customers because they're loyal to one place and not the other it's stressful you gotta go out you gotta go out and find people that spend money so they can come spend money with you it's really like hard <laughs> you really like if you're weak-minded if you can't go up to somebody and be like hey like i work somewhere like you can come chill with us if you can't do that to somebody you're going out with you want to make it. you want book tables booking tables is sometimes required and being new like it's kind of hard for you to work your way up to the top like there's girls that do stuff that some other people aren't willing to do to work their way up there and it's just a it's really dog eat dog in this industry like if you're not booking wearing your uniform full face of makeup you're not gonna be at the top like if you're not doing some of the stuff a lot of girls would do you won't make it what is your favorite and least favorite part about working at camp or being a bottle girl uh, my favorite thing about being a bottle girl is the people i get to meet um, my least favorite thing would be maybe some of the attitudes the customers have. <laughs> For 
show. What is your favorite and least favorite part about working at camp and being a bottle girl? So my favorite thing about working at camp and being a bottle girl is going home with money every night and then, you know, building up a clientele with people so I can get my regulars. My least favorite thing is the consistency. I don't feel like we're very consistent with certain things that we should be doing. Okay, so I'll answer some of the other questions that I have that you guys have been asking me. What is it like dealing with drunk customers? Um, I would say dealing with drunk customers sometimes can be annoying, you know, because, I mean, just like if you go out with your friends and you're the only one sober, drunk motherfuckers get on your nerves, okay? So, I would say, you know, it's just kind of similar to that. Um, sometimes, you know, drunk customers, they try not to pay their bill, like, it's just a lot of stuff that kind of goes on with people being drunk, so you have to really just be on your P's and Q's and just make sure that you got a card on file or that you got some money from them because people will try to leave on their tab just because they drunk and sometimes people will try to just do too much because they drunk so you just got to be real like cut and dry this is what we ain't doing that. do you feel comfortable being a bottle girl working in the industry i would say overall i mean i feel comfortable doing it just because i'm a people person um of course you have you know you encounter guys all the time guys that are trying to talk to you people try to touch you i hate that do not touch me like do not touch me but other than that i mean i feel comfortable you know sometimes we do have to wear skimpy outfits but i've never been a person who, to shy away from a skimpy outfit that type of stuff doesn't bother me but what does bother me is when people try to put their hands on me like they're trying to get my attention like do not do that please do not touch me Okay, do I have any advice for girls trying to work in the industry or here at Camp Houston? I would say my biggest advice is just always make sure you're looking good. You know, don't come up here like you done rolled out the bed. Make sure that your hair is always done. Make sure your makeup's done. You know, make sure you're looking good because it's really off of first impressions. Like, you know, as soon as somebody sees you, they're gonna know whether they want you here or not. If you're looking busted, it's gonna be an automatic no. So I would just say make sure that, you know, you're always looking good. Make sure that you're comfortable with networking, talking to different people, because that is how you're gonna build clientele. That's how you're gonna get people to come back and book with you. That's how you're gonna get your money, essentially. If you're afraid to talk to people, you know, this probably isn't the, you know, right industry for you. If you're shy, you know, and timid, this is not the job or the industry for you at all. So. That's probably my biggest advice. What is your favorite or least favorite thing about your job? I would say my favorite thing is making money, of course. You know, sometimes I'll make more than somebody does in a week. You know, so, um, or two weeks. So I would say that's probably my favorite part. My least favorite part would probably be the early mornings, late nights, and sometimes just being here and maybe not making much money like depending on if it's busy dry if you get a good section like those are probably my favorite and least favorite parts about the job what is the pay so we do get a base pay of two dollars and 13 cents an hour but we only get paid that is if we don't make a certain amount throughout our shifts so technically we don't really see a check so the pay is based off tips so you have to come in here, you gotta work for your money. Like, you're not gonna come in here and there may be some nights you just get lucky and get handed some money, like, but I would say more so just really working for your money. And, you know, I'm not gonna tell exactly what my pockets is looking like, but I would say some nights I can make $200, some nights I can make $1,500, you know? And that's a night, so it really just depends. Okay, you guys, well, that's the end of my Bottle Girl q and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any other questions or comments or want me to do any other type of Bottle Girl videos or any video at all, go ahead and just leave it in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video.